orbit. Beyond the blue. The famous Carl Sagan had said, the universe is a pretty big place. If it's just us, seems like an awful waste of space. To assume we are the only one in the whole universe, is quite arrogant, if you ask me. There has to be life somewhere out there. And not just life, but, an intelligent one. And I am pretty sure, they were here at some point in time. How? Well, I am going to show you top 10 pieces of evidence to prove that aliens really exist. Please keep an open mind, unlike, you know, a flat earther. Hate those bunch of weirdos. Okay, let's jump straight into the topic without delay dallying. 10. Ancient evidence of aliens in cave paintings. The 10,000-year-old rock paintings, found in the Karama region of India, depict spooky faceless aliens, and an antennaed object, that looks just like what we now see, as a UFO. There are several beliefs among locals in these villages. While few worship the paintings, others narrate stories they have heard from ancestors, about Rohela people, the small-sized ones, who used to land from the sky in a round flying object, and take away one or two persons of village, who never returned. 9. The UFO Painting and Art History Aliens Since we are talking about art, let's talk about one of the biggest revolutions in human history, the Renaissance. During the Renaissance, eerie UFO shapes popped up in works of art, on several occasions. This is the Madonna with Saint Giovannino also known as the UFO painting. Creativity, or naturalism? I, would go with the latter. 8. The Nazca Lines The Nazca Lines located in southern Peru, are a collection of over 10,000 lines, etched into desert sands. They form around 300 geoglyphs, of various images depicting animals, figures and plants. What's truly incredible about those geoglyphs, is their sheer scale, some of which stretch more than 9 kilometers and measure 30 meters wide. Due to their sheer scale, many consider that these Nazca lines, must have been created from an aerial point of view, insinuating that aliens must have been responsible. 7. Crop Circles We've all heard of crop circles, and most would consider them to be a pretty modern phenomenon. However, the first publicly recorded crop circle, was way back in 1678 in Scotland, which came to be known as the Devil's Circle. Crop circles are often large and complicated in their design, and they tend to be found in fields of wheat, or corn where the stalks are bent, into sophisticated shapes. 6. Foo Fighters No, not the band. Surely you must have wondered where they got their name from, right? Well Foo Fighter was a term, used by Allied aircraft pilots, during World War II, to describe strange aerial sightings, believed to be UFOs in various accounts, they were described as glowing fiery lights, speeding through the air, or sometimes quite close to the ground. Researchers have suggested that Foo Fighters, can be explained as electrostatic or electromagnetic phenomena. However, there are no conclusive accounts as to what these sightings were, and the cases remain a mystery to the present day. 5. Physical Evidence There are such things as trace cases, or close encounters of the second kind. What's defined in ufology as instances where there is physical interaction with a UFO. This might be a landing mark, damaged vegetation or weird residues. There are somewhere between three and a half thousand and five thousand trace cases. As with anything UFO related, often these trace cases, can be debunked as hoaxes, but some to this day still prove very difficult to explain. 4. Project Sign Project Sign was an official study under the United States Air Force, put in place to investigate UFOs. It ran from 1948 to 1949, but was kept secret for years. The investigations undertaken by the project, 
were intended to debunk speculation that UFOs had extraterrestrial origins, but of the nearly 13,000 sightings that were studied, 701 of them simply couldn't be chalked up to weird weather or man-made objects. In the end, the government simply had to classify these as unidentified. 3. Area 51 Area 51 has been the object of many conspiracy theories over the years, mainly due to the controlled secrecy surrounding it. It was used to design and build military fighter jets and drones. However, conspiracies still persist regarding its alleged use as an alien research center. But why Area 51? It would be of no surprise for any government to have a research center for extraterrestrial life, and the extremely controlled site in the Nevada desert, makes it the perfect place, for such alien research to happen. 2. Martians are our neighbors. When we think of aliens, very often we think of Martians. Our nearby neighbors from the planet Mars. The main reason we look towards Mars for extraterrestrial life, is because it's the closest to our own planet, with a somewhat similar environment. The main similarity being that there was once water on Mars. Recent evidence shows, that approximately 4.5 billion years ago, one-fifth of the planet was covered in water. In 2017, the Curiosity rover detected the presence of boron on Mars, and boron is something that's considered an essential ingredient for life. 1. The Drake Equation U.S. Astronomer Frank Drake developed an equation to estimate the number of planets that were capable of hosting life and also capable of communicating with us. In 1961, he put together this equation, looking at seven key factors, including how many stars have solar systems, the formation rate of those stars, the number of planets that could support life, and how many of those planets could form intelligent life. The figures used are debatable, but Drake calculated there to be approximately 10,000 possible intelligent species, in our universe. Looking at everything together, there's not much evidence to really prove, that aliens exist. However, for those who wish to see, I think you'll agree, there's enough there to pique our curiosity. Even NASA has announced, that it would set up an independent team, to see how much information is publicly available on UFOs, but what do I know? Beyond the Blue